Yep, my name is John Galvin. I'm the owner of JWI Entertainment and I'm the writer, producer, and director of Pepper. Pepper is a really unique story uh, about a young man who uh, pretty much has been trying for a while to be an actor in the city. He, uh, he's, he's had a tough time of it. He's had some really big problems and he, he thinks he's kind of at the end of his rope. And then along comes this uh, little uh, spunky girl called Pepper who kind of convinces him to not to you know do anything drastic so they go off on uh, kind of like a full day of, of trying to track down and solve all of his problems um, so that he can get on with his life. Uh, my name is Mike McGillick, I'm the cinematographer on Pepper. Pepper seems like it's going to be a really fun production to shoot. Uh, the story has a lot of depth to it, but one of the things that really interests me is how some of the subtext is conveyed uh, through different visual means and placing characters in environments you wouldn't anticipate them being in, in situations that uh, they wouldn't anticipate themselves entering. So what happens is, is Pepper actually opens with our main character, Steve, standing on the ledge of a very tall building in the city. Uh, where he's um, interrupted from doing what he might actually do um, by the character Pepper. It's a 13-story building. I'm uh, Andrew Scott, I'm doing the visual effects here for Pepper. The visual effects goals of this project are pretty straightforward. The goal is to make a believable environment for the audience, and the hope is that they don't notice that there is CGI in the shot. This is a special effects shot that's going to simulate the top of a large building of which the green screen would then be removed and we would insert the city with afterwards. The reason why I call it proof of life rather than proof of concept is it's the opening shot and it has to have total wow factor and total credibility. But it was just a really great experience to bring the people who would be on the crew together and get their toes wet with what it would be like to work on this project and it's something that I think is going to be very challenging but extremely rewarding. And since we're not going to go up on a 13-story building with an actor and try to film this for real, we're actually recreating it here. The first shot is fairly challenging, um, but it should really showcase uh, the potential of the script. We've so far only scheduled one day where we did a test for our opening sequence, which is this huge visual effects shot, uh, just so that we could instill some confidence to any possible investors. So what Pepper basically is, is a hybrid between Fight Club, A Christmas Carol, and 13 Reasons Why Not. There's a lot of uh, subliminal subtext to it, uh, not only uh, you know in the dialogue they have, but in the visuals behind, and uh, a lot of the innuendos that, that go on with all of the different difficulties that actors face you know, as they go about trying to be successful at their craft. My name is Adam Wepler and I'm playing Steven in Pepper. First met Adam Wepler on the set of Cobblestone Corridor where uh, he was one of the main characters. I had worked with John and Mike before, so when John sent me the script, uh, I came in for a brief interview and I was really excited to be a part of the project where John and Mike had creative control. Adam completely blew me away with his energy and his ability to adapt to any scene and what was called for him, and he had just great comic timing. My goal for Pepper is to bring the character of Steven to life. Pepper is really an incredible mix of reality and fantasy and imagination. So when I was actually writing Pepper, I, 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 I kind of think I started to gravitate towards the character that Adam had bestowed in my head, and then it just all kind of came naturally. What really strikes me about Pepper is how relatable the story is. A lot of times, especially in the acting profession, it can be very easy to be self-defeatist and to feel like you shouldn't be pursuing this passion or it's not a valid passion. Uh, and so it's a really relatable character to see how he kind of needs to take control of his own life in order to really live it. Pepper the script for an actor, like a lead character like Steven is, is such an opportunity to go the full range of emotion. You, he's going to be furious, he's going to be scared, he's going to be happy, he's going to cry, and, and, and Adam, is just, he's just the guy for the job. Mike McGillick and I have worked on a couple of projects in the past and had great success with them. Uh, the first one we had was an internet release called Room for One More, which was an adaptation from a short story uh, by Alvin Schwartz. And Mike is a cinematographer, me, writer, director, and it, it was very, very successful on the internet. Our second project, which was called Mr. Ready, was a nice little project where, where there was a dynamic of a family of a father, a mother, and a son and um, 
we put that in the okay. film festival circuit right. and it did incredibly well. We won a lot of awards and went all the way to um, Seoul, Korea with it by invitation. So what do we need? Pepper, unlike the first two projects that uh, we did, uh, collaborated on, is logistically more challenging. It has a lot more exteriors, it happens in a city, it has visual effects, um, there's stunts. So you have all these logistical expenses that are going to come up in a film that we didn't have to deal with, with like uh, Mr. Ready or Room for One More. You know, these are, these are real expenses that get accrued, uh, not only because you need to make sure that everything is, is safe and secure, but just because you have to have uh, crowd control and company moves and things like that. So this is gonna be a lot more expensive project you know, than the first two, and that's where we're gonna need the help. I appreciate you taking a look behind the scenes today, and I hope you back our project. So thank you for your support, and we'll see you next summer. Uh, thank you very much for your time and for watching this video, and if there's anything you can contribute to the budget of this short film, it's definitely gonna be worth it. That'll, that'll just, just, just explode. Yeah, just whoa, you know, like, what the hell was that? And now, I'll show you the results of the screen test. And with your help, this concept could be the opening shot of the film. So check it out. And thanks again for your donation. What are you doing? No! Nothing? To contribute, you can click on the link here to go to our Indiegogo fundraising campaign. If you're looking for more information or how you can play an even bigger role, email us at pepper.movie.short at gmail.com. You can like and follow us on Facebook. To see other JWI Entertainment projects written and directed by John Galvin, you can click on these links here. And thanks again for checking out our film campaign.